Doesn't this thing look sick going down the road? If you don't know already, my name is Bailey. I'm Chance. And this is the Audi A7. This is his car and it's been a rebuild on the channel. If you're new, go down below, you'll see the series. I think we have six videos up right now. Yeah. So go watch the six videos real quick. Link in description. But it's super exciting to see this thing going down the road because we've literally went from a crash car to rebuilding the front end and cutting out the whole rear tub and putting a new one. This is super cool. I'm gonna have to do another one one day. I won't for a while. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I, make you weld it up. I gotta make my bank account refunnish. <laughs> so as you can tell from our videos, we've done a lot to this car. We have done an entire back half of the car has been cut off and rewelded. We did side skirts, we did a front bumper, a new rear diffuser, which be going on in the next couple of videos after we wrap it exhaust we did an arp ultra charger with the upgraded tuning max and design side skirts max and design front lip max and design rear spoiler i mean this car has literally gone through a tremendous amount of work in about i would say 10 days of just work and not like super long days like maybe 10 hours at most a day it, it's just came a very 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 long way and also in the midst of all this, we're actually uh, got the seat belt sent off, seat belts put back in. So it's already back together. We're in the middle of, which I've time-lapsed some of it, pulling the entire interior out of this. We're gonna wrap all of the wood grain and also changing the entire headliner from a tan gray to uh, OEM black. And of course we can't have a video without mod, right? Hmm, or should we just, Say screw it, not do a mod. I think we'll do a mod today. So today's mod is something actually quite special. And I know Chance is very happy and pleased with it. I know it's a one off of a kind. And well, I'll let you go ahead and at talk least, about it. At least one of a kind that I've, I've never seen. I searched for a couple of months to try to find one. I could not find one anywhere. I found some cheap stuff, a way to make it look like it. But I actually contacted uh, Zen Carbon Fiber, which will have the, uh, his link to his Instagram in the description below. And he's also the one that we got the uh, steering wheel from, which will be probably the next video is the steering wheel <laughs> install. Dang it, you snitched us out. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's all right though, it, it's it's super, super cool. One off carbon fiber engine cover for this uh, supercharged 3.0. So it is a genuine carbon fiber. It's not like a, a dip or anything. So it looks really good. I like the quality. And my favorite thing about carbon fiber is honestly like little defects and this definitely has it. Just shows that's real and looks really cool. Just pops right in, just like factory. We're gonna be doing some uh, red Audi rings and also uh, it'll say 3.0 TFSI in red right here as well. Sick, dude. Red. Look at it. I love how it goes with like the little carbon fiber intake piece. That's really nice. It's coming along. This thing actually sounds really good too. I, we definitely need to do more drive-bys and runs once this thing's completed. We'll do like a full review of like the whole car put together, but we'll get like sound clips and just get more detailed, more raw footage. Yeah. Be really also nice, there's huh? a couple people that were asking about uh, like, you know, how much does it cost to fix it? We'll do a video at the end of everything I've spent and then we'll also kind of fraction off of what you can, if you buy one with the same rear end type damage, of you can spend, you know, this amount and still get it done right, 
without having to go do the RS7 front bumper, the RS7 side skirts, you know, the exhaust, you know, ultra charger, heat exchanger. You don't have to do all those. I just, I was going to do it eventually and the car was already down. So I went ahead and just said, screw it and I bought all the parts. So we'll have the pricing for if you're going to rebuild it completely stock or we'll have pricing for it fully kind of modified and built like we do. Next step for this car is going to be steering wheel install and then the big portion will be wrap. What we're going to do is we are going to take the door handles off, take the shark fin off, take the mirrors off. And I'm going to have them actually painted gloss black. Uh, if I ever wrap the car a different color, everything will be pleasing to a gloss black accent as far as those small things, I think. So that means that we don't ever have to worry about peeling up on the mirrors, peeling up on the door handles because of constant use. And probably, I haven't decided yet because I do like the silver wheels, may black out the trim as well. Well, make sure you push that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, Peace also, out. Oh. if you're from Tulsa, the only other person that ever touches my cars besides me is my friend Patrick at RS Auto House. Yes. If you're in Tulsa, if you're around Tulsa, Oklahoma City, you need someone to trust with your car. I'm going to take my Porsche there. I take this there. If I, if I don't have time to work on my BMWs, that's where I take it. He works on Lamborghinis. He works on literally anything. If you need anything to do with cars, whether it's a BMW, Porsche, Mercedes, Audi, Mini Cooper is what he really likes to specialize yes. in. Go ahead and hit him up because he, he'll do your coating, he'll be able to reset airbag lights, he'll be able to fix your vehicle, and he's a fairly good cost too. I would buy yeah. that just did a big single turbo and it's 135 and he was quoted better than anybody else in the quality of work and the, the time he put in to make everything was perfect. Props to him. So, so we'll have that in the link in the description below as well as his website. Absolutely. So all right guys, well peace out. See you in the next video. Bye. By the way, remember that video in the very beginning? It was actually oh part God. six. And I thought this was for hands-free liftgate. Remember that cable I was carrying? It's hands-free liftgate. Well, evidently it's not. Who does it know? But it is. So. What are we doing with that? Are you gonna actually replace it? Or yeah, I got it. I got it the module at the house. I just, we gotta, I figure we would jack it up to do the, uh, to, to do the wrap. We gotta pull we, the bumper off anyway. We gotta so. pull the bumper off. Uh, we gotta adjust the exhaust. We gotta redo the, re redo the rear diffuser. You know, make sure they fit the exhaust and, uh, I just figured we'd do it back there. And so what if you were right? Who cares? Hey, I'll let me ride. This is my time of shine. <laughs>